Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh Fuller, and I'm here to explain today why students should attend community college before transferring to a four-year university. Gaining a higher education is important for everybody. As we all know, it is the key to, to success in today's highly competitive job market. Many have the goal of, of attending a four-year university, but they overlook the fact that community college can provide the first years of two years of education at a much lower price. Today, I will explain how community college can provide an equal education without the hassle of attending the uh, four-year university. So, community college offers more affordable and equivalent education to a university while offering some main, major advantages. As a student, it is very important to understand your options and to know why community college is an excellent choice for your first two years. Community colleges are often overlooked. Community college has had a major effect on my life as I've been attending it for the previous two years. Throughout my two years, I've had outstanding teachers that have helped me succeed during my two years and have also prepared me for life after college. Many of these teachers have shown me respect in the fact that they want me to succeed not only while I'm in school, but also once I get out of college and, and enter the job market. Not only have I had excellent teachers while attending community college, but I've had almost 100% of my tuition paid for through grants and scholarships and tuition waivers. So, a preview of what we're going to go over. First of all, we're going to go over some common misbeliefs about community colleges and why they aren't true. We are also going to go over why students would choose community colleges over universities. This includes the price and the ease of changing degrees, smaller class sizes, convenience, and running start program. So, some common beliefs about community colleges. First of all, some people believe that the teachers aren't as educated. They believe that only lesser students that couldn't get into universities attend them. Employers look down on those students who attend community colleges and community colleges don't, doesn't offer the classes that you need or provide the financial aid at, and scholarships of a university. Teachers aren't ed as educated. So, it is important to understand that this is not true. Teachers are just as educated at a community, community college as they are at a university. According to the University of Washington's website, the job requirements to teach there are a master's degree. This is the same that is true for a community college. From my personal experience, I've had many teachers that have chosen to teach at a community college even though they have their PhD. These teachers have had careers in related fields to what they are teaching, which has helped them become more knowledgeable and teaching me how to succeed after college. Also, a university relies heavily on TAs. A community college or class will always be taught by a teacher and not a graduate student who may or may not have the training to teach a class. So, only lesser students or ones who cannot get into universities attend community colleges. Many students don't know the career choices before they attend college. They want to be able to test the waters without having a university pressure them into a career choice. This, so community college is an excellent choice for them. According to an article in the Baltimore Post by Joe Burris from October 25th, 2011, community college enrollment has increased by 20% over the last three years. This shows that more students are realizing the strengths of community colleges compared to universities. On a personal note, I also, while attending community college, have seen a person transfer to MIT straight out of Highland Community College. This goes to show that even really smart students can attend community college. And employers looking down on community college graduates. Most job openings only require a degree. Very few of them actually want to see your transcripts from college. How important can, can attending a community college be to an employer if they don't even want to see your transcripts from your collegiate career? And the community colleges that don't don't offer the classes that you need. All community colleges offer the classes in order to attain a two-year degree. This allows you to transfer to a university as a junior. Community colleges offer, also offer now four-year degrees 
depending on the degree you want and the college you attend. A New York Times article by Tamir Lewin from May 2nd, 2009, says that community colleges are challenging four-year schools by offering bachelor's degrees. He also specified that 14 Florida community colleges are now offering four-year degrees. Community colleges also have more online and hybrid classes than most universities. And financial aid and scholarships. Community colleges offer the same types of grant wa grants, tuition waivers, and scholarships as a, as, a, as a university. A U.S. News article by the, Federal, the Equal Justice Works from April 20, 2011 quoted that 70% of all community colleges students received a Pell Grant. Pell Grant is one of the most common grants out there as it provides tuition assistance for those who do not have financial needs to meet them. Many scholarships are also available. And remember, with the lower cost of tuition at a community college, it is far more likely that you get 100% of your tuition paid for through these grants and scholarships than you would at a university. My personal experience through two years of community college is that almost 100% of my tuition has been paid for. Let's go over why students would choose community college over a university. Price and ease of changing degree, smaller class size, convenience, and the Running Start program. One of the most obvious reasons for choosing a community college is the price and ease of changing degree. The price of a community college is much cheaper than that of a university. The price according to the university, of, uh, to attending a university in California, according to Justin Snyder in a report in the U.S. News from September 14, 2011, is that it is 10 times more expensive to attend a university in California than it is at a, a community college. The, uh, for a few student loans, with the help of tuition assistance and scholarships, it is possible to receive the first year of your college at little to no cost. And even without the tuition waivers and grants that at a community college, it is still cheaper than a university. It is also much easier to change your degree. After all, you, it's very possible that you will have wasted classes while attending school. You may want to change your degree course, or there may just be classes that you want to take for fun. And you can do that at a community college without having to worry about high tuition costs. Another important advantage of community college over university is the smaller class sizes. They allow more direct contact with your teachers and allow students to learn from them rather than from the book. This can be a huge significant to students who have problems learning from books. Community colleges also don't rely on TAs. Article, an article by the U.S. News by Carol Frey states that all community colleges teach many of the same subjects as universities, but in smaller class sizes and without grad students to come in between the undergrads and their teachers. Students are also able to ask more questions and ask for assistance when they need it. This can be very difficult in a large classroom. Teachers don't have the time to take hundred questions from hundreds of students. There's just not enough time in the day. Also, students have become, can become closer to their peers and, and create study groups. I've found that teachers pay far more attention to than those with larger class sizes as they have more time for their students. Another major advantage is the convenience of community colleges. Uh, the community colleges are usually much closer to the home, which allows an easier transition. This is especially true for those who would rather stay at home than paying the cost of tuition, or the cost of living in dorm rooms. Community colleges offer more online classes, which allow flexibility to build the class schedule around your schedule. A major advantage of community colleges for those going straight out of high school is the Running Start program. Some students still need to attend high school classes while doing the Running Start program, and if, even if they don't, they are usually living at home as they are under 18. A Running Start allows a student to attend high school and college at the same time. This allow, and this also pays 100% of their tuition. This allows students to graduate up to two years sooner than they would if they waited until after high school to turn. To... <laughs> All right, so let's look at some statistics. This is from the American Association of Community Colleges. So, employment status of community college students. 
Full-time students are, the percentage of full-time students employed full-time is 21%. Full-time students employed part-time is 59%. The part-time students employed full-time is 40% of all part-time students. And the part-time students employed part-time is 47%. This goes to show that you, that it's much easier for you to, to become employed while attending community college. Also, there's some statistics on percentage of students that apply and receive financial aid. Those that applied for financial aid were 59%, and those that received it were 46%. It was also broken down into some smaller categories. So, in conclusion, community college has major advantages over university that is overlooked by most people. Smaller class sizes and lower tuition benefit all students that attend community college. It also allows some, the same great education as university, but at a lower price. Community colleges appear, appeal to the students doing Running Start or anyone that want the convenience of going to, to college at home. It also offers more flexible schedules to help students that, to be able to work around their schedules. Knowing the truths about community colleges and their advantages over universities is very important. Far too many students assume that attending a four-year college is the right choice for them. They don't realize that attending the community college offers an excellent education at a much lower cost. Don't be fooled by the appearance that a university offers the best education for you. Attend a community college. It's the right choice for you.